All right. Hello, everybody. Um, I really wanted to make a video today, but I also wanted to do something outside. However, I cannot go outside today or at the moment because I'm waiting for a package to be delivered. And, um, yeah, so I'm waiting, but I want to give you guys something today. Um, I'm sitting here watching YouTube. I almost started watching a video of the oh, book of Eric. Okay, so uh, last week was the Eurovision. This is a very popular thing that we don't watch in the U.S. And although there's a hundred million different talent shows, stuff like this. Uh, my passion is music. However, I've never watched the Eurovision. So, as I'm kind of uh, flipping through YouTube, um, I was about to start watching a video of this band from Italy that won, and I stopped myself. I was like, oh, wait a minute. Um, maybe this is a quick little thing that I can do with you guys and I will share with you my first impressions of the Eurovision and of course I'm going to do this a little bit differently I'm not going to be putting anything I'm not going to be sharing the screen or anything and I don't want to really play the music um there's enough of that, and I don't want to. I don't want this to be like a reaction channel or anything. So, I found a short little video, a quick recap of the top ten, the top ten of the Eurovision Song Contest 2021. This video is three minutes forty five seconds long. I'm going to watch it and listen. Hopefully the doorbell doesn't ring at the worst possible moment. Let's see if I can, I'll try to keep the volume down a little bit or not. I don't know. I want to hear the music, but so, um, yeah. So here we go. I'll put a link so that you guys know exactly what video I'm watching and in the meantime, you guys can let me know in the comments some of your thoughts on Eurovision. Do you watch it? Do you not watch it? Why? Why not? I understand this is a very long thing. I think for a lot of people, it's very traditional. Like they've been doing this for, what, 60 years? 50 or 60 years? So I'm sure many of you have grown up watching this. So let's go. Here's... My first time. Oh, wait a minute. I can I can turn the volume down. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, they got right into it. Okay, Stefania from Greece. So she's dancing in front of a green screen, green screen performance. Let's dance. Yeah, typical pop song. Okay, number nine. Matsiha, Manitsa from Russia. Very cultural, I'm assuming. Nice use of the fire. It seems very traditional. The Roop from Lithuania, number eight. Okay, so that, that's, yeah, so um, one thing I do understand about the Eurovision is the fact that it is very um, traditional with each culture, culturally traditional. And to my understanding, they encourage that. Correct me if I'm wrong. So um, maybe that's something that's appealing to many of you. And I can understand how it it kind of connects. I kind of like that dance chain. Okay, I that song was fun. 
um, these guys from Lithuania, um, with all of the talent shows in the U.S., I would, I think something like this would be good and appreciated because I think too many people in the USA are disconnected from the outside world. Uh, shit, I could probably make a video just sharing my opinion on that. I'll save that for another day. Number seven, Destiny from Malta. That sounds like a song, like a typical song you'd hear on pop radio. Number six, Blind Channel from Finland. Now, I know that Finland has got a lot of metal bands. These guys have kind of that modern... They've got a modern metal look, but their music is not metal. <laughs> That's kind of like pop, pop rock. Yeah radio rock a bit you know flashy they put on a show i'd like to i'd like to see them tour with that show ukraine mm. i'm not into this disco dance type music like it, it's simple Simple, bouncy. I understand how people like it. No, uh, leave it to Iceland. I can't, I, I don't, I can't say their name. I don't know. Leave it to Iceland to do something a bit silly like that. You can watch and see what I mean. But number three. The strong powerful voice but mm. another solo singer from France I like that. Wait, pause, 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 pause. Okay. Uh, the number two, the singer from the, they have a French singer. I'm curious to hear the rest of that song. I like the dramatic feel. Like, it was very dramatic. Otherwise, most of this I'm quite bored with. Maybe the, maybe this quick recap does it no justice. I don't know. So, here's the, the winner from Italy, I've been hearing lots about them the past few days. I kind of feel like their rock star thing is a faked image. A special, like, yeah. Uh, these guys have been all over the news the past days. One, because they for winning it, but then I heard that there was some uh, controversy regarding drugs, and immediately, like, yeah, I heard that they, the singer was accused of doing drugs, and immediately the band issued a statement denying it, and right there, all of my rock star dreams died. It's like... Oh, come on. Like, they could have... They could have put themselves... At the top of rock stardom. Right there. They could have, like... They could have done, like... They... Yeah. Even if it would have, like, ruined everything for the Eurovision. That would have been rock star cred at the highest level. Like... Yeah, we did drugs backstage. What are you going to do about it? Take our title away? We don't care. Like, oh, that's... Oh. 
Uh, they may as well have come from a Disney show. Anyway, whatever. Supposedly someone proved that they didn't do any drugs. But they could have, like, I don't know. So that's why I, I kind of feel like they're, it's, it's all for show. Anyway, okay, so but tell me what, what do you guys think? Uh, me, um, it looks like, it looks like a typical, there's dozens, hundreds of these shows. However, I think the tradition of this one is probably why it's a bit more special. The tradition in so many countries are, like, it's an event. Music brings the world together, so I appreciate that. Don't get me wrong, I greatly appreciate that. Music, music is the glue. Music is the glue that keeps us all together, holds us together. However, I'm not into these big, big fancy shows like this. Mm, okay, so uh, thanks for joining me. Um, now I can say that I watched some of Eurovision. Woo! Uh, um, yes, please, uh, please subscribe. Hit that. I've never once in these videos told you to hit that notification bell. And maybe it would be helpful for some of you. Because I don't... I'm quite irregular with releasing these videos. Um, that was my whole intention. Like, I wanted to be spontaneous and, you know, but... Um, I kind of want to keep that up. Yeah, like I want this to be a bit random and spontaneous. So that notification bell might be helpful for you. Um, down below, I'll put the Trinkgeld link. Thank you all again that have been supporting me. Um, and I look forward to having a beer with you all. I've got some ideas coming. Like, I'm a very um, public and interactive person. I've got some ideas that I'm hoping that I can put into effect once the corona thing shies a... Once we can get out and start having fun again and meeting and mingling with people, I've got an idea. Something I want to do. Um... But in the meantime, I think I will, if you watched my video from the other day, where I suggested that um, I might do a live video, I think I will do it. And I'll kind of promote it some weeks leading up to it. Um, because I want to give you guys like that, something like that, I will not be spontaneous. I'll put some planning into it and let you all know so that you can join. Because otherwise I just, like, I want you to join. And I want this to be something for all of us. Um, otherwise I just make another video. So, thank you all. I'm here for you. In every way that you're here for me, I'm here for you too. Like, this is, this is, uh, we, we do this together. So, this next them all. Cheers.